Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello, farmers. Welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. We got a worker going away cultivating a field, and somehow they're missing sections once in a while, but that's okay. They're in the other field, and I just go around and touch them up afterwards. That's what happens sometimes we use small implements. You can't you can't cover it all. You can't cover it all. We're gonna hop into the John Deere. And we're gonna take a little trip down to the store. I almost forgot where I parked the John Deere. I looked around the map to see if there were any interesting jobs to do today, and right now, not really. I, there's a couple, and it was like, oh, I'll pay $800 to fertilize a field. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm getting to the point now, like I said before, those kind of jobs, not interested. The cash isn't really there for my interest. I mean, well, the cash is, you know, in real life, if someone said, hey, I'll pay you $1,000 to fertilize this field today, I'm like, where do I sign? $1,000 for a job for a day. Um, yeah, we're heading on down to the store. We gotta, we gotta purchase something. We're gonna, we're gonna purchase a stump grinder. I thought they were eight thousand. I just checked; it's only five thousand. So I already saved three thousand bucks. And also, just before I started uh, uh, recording, I guess there's a sale on Vultures. I just happened when I was in the garage. I'm like, oh, there's a sale on Vultures. I'm like, eh, I don't really ever, ever really see Vultures in the, U at least in my area of the U.S. Mostly in my area of the U.S., I see John Deere, I see Massey Ferguson, and I see Case, Case Internationals, stuff like that. But, kind of today, we're just going to be doing some little bit more forestry work around our fields. Uh, cut down some trees. I probably shouldn't, but we're going to. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're going to. Uh, so we go in the store, uh, oops, I was, yeah, I was checking that out, but if we go to sale, yeah, Volters are on sale, uh, 10%, 15% off, interesting, uh, we do need it, we're gonna need a bigger tractor at some point, uh, forestry equipment, 5,000 for Mr. Stump Grinder. I thought about renting it, but I said, you know, this series is going to run for a while, uh, and we got some forestry work to do, and, and in the long run, $5,000 won't be much. And it's better than, I, I never really liked leasing too much. Where are you? Stop, there you are. Thank you, autosave, for that, uh, wow, a little rusty, a little rusty. Come on. That usually is close enough. There we go. Oh, the one thing I didn't check is it's been a while since I did FS. I did some bulk recording, so I forgot how are the animals doing. Hey, we hit 40%. That is good news. 40% on the moo cows. Uh, yeah, we got our total mix rations going, so hopefully in a day or so our mixer will have a good amount going. Our pigs have wonderful water, and uh, our sheep seem to be doing just fine. So basically, I don't think I want to have to feed the cows any hay anymore, because every time I give them power food, the silage part of the mixed rations go up here. That kind of sucks. Uh, obviously, I can't feed the cows grass in the winter anyways. So basically, we'll be just be giving them water, straw, and power food from now on. But in power food, there's hay... So we need the hay to begin with. Still on day four of six of fall. And of course in the last episode we did all the harvesting. All of our grain is in storage. Uh, there's two great demands going right now. One for corn. Uh, I think they're asking like 513. And I do have 7,000 liters. But I, I thought I'm like for 3,500 bucks. I can almost pay for this thing. And the other one is for sugar cane, but I never bought the, the, the extended DLC, so I don't do sugar cane. Uh, just didn't seem like my type of crop for all the material you gotta buy to do sugar cane. And really, sugar cane is not really done around here, so I wouldn't be doing sugar... Well, 
There's probably some crops I really don't know for sure, but I'm almost positive sugar cane something done up here too far. But we need to go take care of some stumps. They've been bugging me a little bit too much. Uh, working around those fields, and like I said, next spring, we're going to join all four of those fields and make one big, nice field. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do any uh, work in the, that big field with a three-meter implement, be that a cultivator or a plow. If I still have those small implements, uh, yeah, course play will be uh, doing that for us, for sure. You turn in here? Yes, you are. I think most traffic that comes down there does turn. I don't think I've ever seen a car go straight. Oh, yeah, I need to go in cab when I'm driving. Looks so much better out the window after you after you clean it. Clean it. I was getting a little uh, foggy looking through it before. So we do have some trees that are already cut. Now we go out of cab so I can see this better. I didn't really check the horsepower on this, but I think we are fine. Alright, fire render, it's turn it on. And the stump is rather high, so I'm probably gonna have to lift it up. there man really I know I kind of cut it high but I didn't really have a choice hopefully this disintegrates really you're gonna give me little wood chips really apparently I can cut something in my cutting Well, that one disappeared. Well, see if I can cut this in small enough pieces to where it just disappears like the other one did. Eventually you cut a piece small enough, it'll just be like, gone. Kind of like that. Uh... Yeah, I don't see any more wood there. Alright. Whoops. Make sure I hit the right buttons. So I may run into a few of these, because this, this one's kind of high as well. Easy with a the throttle there, dude. No, oh, that took care of it. Now I can see some of these here. There's one right here. Let's lower this down. And at least after I learned on the hedges, we kept these up. So I'm going to start working our way back this way. There we go. And after we harvest next spring, we will create one nice big field for us to have. One of many up here. Okay, let's see if I can find the post here. Oh, I see. I see it. Oops, must be another one here. Uh, are you hiding in there somewhere, sir? Well, when all else fails... Uh 
Oh, I found it somewhere. Probably the best thing to do would have been wait until like winter, and I don't know. I don't know if the removable hedge, hedges in the winter, if all the foliage goes off them, it might be easier to see. But we'll we'll find out in a few days because uh, there'll be plenty of hedges around here, but not the ones in our fields. And from my understanding, I guess you can cut all the removable hedges at any time, even though you don't own the fields next to them. But uh, I want to kind of play it like, well, they're not ours, so. No, why did you come back up? Stay down there. Did I get all the other ones? Because that one I had to do twice because it was rather high. I think so. Alright, see if we can find... Oh wow, we got a few more to go, don't we? Any easy ones sticking up? There's one. Uh, where is it exactly? Oh, I saw, I saw ya. Try to get cut it closer to the ground so I don't have to do it twice. Okay, I can see that one actually. So first I'm just going to cut it at whatever the height that we're standing at and then we'll come down here and do it like this. Uh, I'm not crouching. Okay, I can see this one. Now we'll work our way back on the tractor. Cut a few more. Yeah, it's going to be in there somewhere. Yeah, it's there somewhere. <laughs> I just hope I'm not cutting the tree that's behind this edge. Nope. Alright. I probably should have counted how many I just did because I lost track. And it may be kind of hard to see him when I'm in the tractor. Uh, what am I grinding up there? I think it might be picking up the tree... We'll just call this the tree next to it, hopefully. I've always had this problem with the stump grinder sometimes you, where there's not a stump and you drive around and do it. I ran this another map to go around and starts cutting something like, uh, there's nothing there. See, that stump disappeared, but yet it's still cutting. There we go. It looks like we got one more hedge to take care of. Well, like I, if you, like I said, if you can't see it, just just do that <laughs> eventually. Let the chainsaw find it for you. Alright, that brings us to the edge of our fields. Alright, so how does that look? Actually, it still shows a tree there. Actually, it still shows a mole there. 
but I think it's since it's below ground, it shouldn't. Hopefully, it's not going to matter. Yeah, see, even the ones I stump grinded, it still shows them all. Actually, you got rid of these up here, but not the ones on the hill. It's not going to get rid of it, I don't think. Now I got told that if you hire just a regular worker, a worker may see that and may not go over it. So that may be something I test in the future when there's actually a field here. So that will be all this. No, I got one more stump. Okay. I knew that. I knew that. We'll see if we turn on that stump should just completely disappear, which it did. Now these are the ones I kind of cut wrong before, so I'm gonna have to use the dev mod to hopefully line up and see if it uh, gets rid of it even more. Or I may have cut it low enough below the ground to get it. I know it may look weird looking at that picture, but <laughs> yeah, so I think they're all well enough below the ground for us. Uh, did I get any? I'm trying to make sure there's no stumps down here that I need to get. Nope, that all looks good for now. Turn that off, turn that off. Alright, Mr. New Holland, how did you end up doing? Stop driver. Uh, I need to clear that course so it gets rid of the stop sign. I thought I thought I programmed the course play right to not show that. Okay, but you didn't really leave a spot down here that we need to go take care of. Nope, I'm on the wrong tool. Alright, lift that back up. Put that down. There we go. And we are done with the cultivator for the year. Actually, why we're over here... The grass has not grown at all since we cut it. I'm not sure we will get another growth stage out of it for the year. And even if we do, I'm not sure it's going to be enough to cut it. Well, I should say, I'm not sure it's going to be worth the cut it. Because the only pit we have available would be at the BGA. Because the cow's pit has silage in it right now. Hmm. Well, that's that's for a different episode, different time. So we'll figure out if that's even worth it near at the uh, last day of autumn. We'll have to see. But at least, uh, thanks to the helpful tip, I do not have to plow the field and replant it. I just saw at the beginning of the year that it needed to be plowed, but after apparently you mow it the first time, it gets rid of the plowing, uh, saying that it needs to be plowed. All right. Let's hook up the seed roll. Hoping we have enough seed for the rest of the year. And we kind of need to go over and seed the field that uh, we were just cutting the trees in. So let's head over there.
And since this is an oddly shaped feet, well, not, it's not too oddly shaped. And since it's such a small field, I think I'm going to seed it myself with this little sucker. Those other two fields over there, I'm not going to seed that myself. I'm not that crazy. And we're going to do barley. I think we did all the fields of barley, I think, so far. Uh, fruit types. Barley. Yep, we're going to do all barley. Uh, make all straw in the springtime. Uh, when in the springtime? I'm not going to be able to harvest it until... Ew, I thought... I, I'm so used to Farmer's Dynasty. I thought I was going to be able to plant it and then harvest it in spring. Oh well, no big deal. It just saves me from planting in the springtime. So it looks like I got plenty of time to cut down the rest of these trees. So maybe by then we'll have the truck and a logging, uh, a true logging <laughs> a truck trailer, I should say, to load up the trees. So that gives us uh, about three seasons before we get time to harvest. That works for me, actually. I have no problem with that whatsoever. And plus, uh, it allows us to get other things done. And away we go with this little guy. I mean, this implement is even smaller than the one in Farmer's Dynasty. What the heck? Oh yeah, we're cruising right along now, aren't we? So, I'm going to get cracking on this. And I'll bring you back when I'm just about done. Which may take a while with this little guy. Few more passes. And we'll be done seeding the field of barley. Now that I understand, I, I've never really done the fall seeding in Farming Simulator on Seasons. Um, my other map, I just had so many fields that were so big, I never had the time, even with workers, to do so. Uh, looks like my course play worker didn't really see the entire field. I mean, we got the right seed. We're going to do it right now. There, yeah, that's taken care of. <laughs> uh, and we'll also get this little corner piece as well. You know, may as well. We're here. So, as, like I was saying, uh, with seasons running, I never done the fall seeding. So I was thinking it was like maybe like Farmer's Dynasty where you seed in the fall and you can harvest a crop right in the springtime. And it doesn't look like that's the way it is on seasons on here. That, that's fine. It just means less work I have to do in the springtime. But it kind of botched my plans of, you know, cutting down the trees and making this all one field for next season. I mean, that's still our plan to do it next season, but we'll just do it after we harvest the crops. I don't want to plow the fields together because I'll probably probably plow some of our crops in. And I'll probably use... Uh, a GPS to make sure we get the fields completely lined up when we do the plowing try to get the lines as straight as we can when we do so. But hopefully by the time we get to the second season in the fall we'll have better equipment.
I mean, this three meter stuff, it's taken me a while to just see this little field here. I don't think I've ever used this equi this small equipment on Farming Simulator before. Maybe I did when, uh, in 13, the first time I played the game, I just thought, like, oh, this is great. And I was like, oh, there's a shop? You know, it's... <laughs> I was just going on what the game gave you. I was like, all right, this is it. You know, first time I ever played a farming game. Like, oh, okay, this is it. This is how it's done. I was like, oh, there's shop. Oh, I can buy stuff? Then I started seeing prices of stuff. I'm like, oh, I can't. I can't buy that. Then I started watching YouTube videos and I realized, all right, this is the tips and tricks of Farming Simulator, huh? All right, turn it off, lift it up. Uh, let's, let me just go to here so we go it's all growing this little slap here uh, obviously because I was letting course play work through the night and then I kind of I didn't think it was the, I mean I was actually in the middle of playing on the first day and it just went poof I'm like alright fine be that way you'll be fine it, it won't bother me at all so now I'm hesitating. I may not do these fields at all uh, over here until next year. Just because we don't have enough artificial fertilizer to supply our fields to get total fertilizer on them right now. So we're just, I'm, I'm just going to wait. Just going to wait. So see there's our grass field does not need to be plowed at all. None of our fields do at this point. So I'm thinking until we get you know, we make more seed, more fertilizer with our uh, bioprocessing plant. We may just wait until next year to seed those two fields. And I'm not sure what I want to seed them with just yet. I, as If you watch my uh, Farmer's Dynasty series, you'll see that I like to mix it up and keep it all different. Let's head over here. Yeah, you've been hard at work. You you need a good wash, Mr. New Holland. You don't have that magic button like Farmer's Dynasty does where he's gotta go up to a barn and hit enter and clean. Well, I like this aspect just a little bit better. Although in real life, a pressure washer on a weight like this, pressure, I mean, that thing, that, that would be clean in like seconds. But I get it. You're not, you're not going to code it different for each different implement and tractor. And I don't blame you. In the, I remember in FS15, and I think it, I did see it converted over to 17, there was like an automatic car wash. Like you take your car through, and when it had the big uh, fluffy spindle wheel thingies that go around and just slap the crap out of your tractor and, and equipment. It, it was a little bit buggy here and there, meaning if you took a big implement in there, it just didn't like it too much. But, you know, it was nice, and it, and it charged you for the size of the equipment, so like it wasn't just like a $10 charge every time you brought something in. The bigger the tractor, the more of a cost it was to you to get it washed. All right, lower the bridge. Actually, from what I remember now, I want to park this. How far back can I go? Right there. Just so if I happen to bring up any more seed for storage, I have room to back up the trailer to empty said seed into storage. So yeah, like you can see, we only got like a thousand fertilizer left. Plenty of seed to do the fields, I believe, but fertilizer is kind of a question mark. At least this field uh, has the second stage in it. These just have the first stage. So fertilizer may be a little bit of an issue, but now that I see that we got all next year to fertilize them as well, not much of a problem.
But at least today we got all the hedges down around the fields that we own. And we got rid of all of the stumps that I think we can get rid of. Um, yeah, if I go into dev mode, I can still see them down there. But it doesn't appear... It doesn't appear it's going to get rid of them. Now, it got rid of some of them all the way. Nope, doesn't like that one. Doesn't like that one at all either. And I'm hitting a tree because I'm in dev mode. <laughs> I gotta get a dev mode. It's gonna drive some people nuts. But, uh, we'll see when it comes time to hiring a worker to see in the future if they'll go through the field. I'm not sure if course play will see it as well. Huh? Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Really? Just disappear for me. Alright, I'll tell you what. You don't need to sit here and watch me do this. But uh, I think that's where I'm going to call it an episode. I thought I was going to maybe cut down a tree or two, but now that I can see that we don't have to harvest our fields till next fall. Uh, right now there's no rush. I'll wait until we can forward a truck. And the trailer for logs is not that much, but I don't know if the automatic... I'm hoping the automatic trailer that I got will uh, register with these trees, but I'm not sure they will. Or even those trees that may not register, you know, auto-load those kind of trees. But if it doesn't, we'll figure it all out uh, next summer. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of the Pacific Northwest. I hope it was enjoyable for you. And I'll see you in the next episode next time. But until then, have a good one.